Ah, I don't know what to call that family, why I keep on breaking up like that. I'm sorry, I'm not meaning to do this. It's powers to be, family. This must be something important, what I'm saying, but I guess, family. But check this out. Let's run it back since we keep on getting broken up over here. A wild animal takes pleasure in hunting its prey to kill and overpower its prey. An animal takes pleasure in, in killing no different than a serial killer because it stalks its prey and kills and it, and it kills it kill it, it don't it don't it does not kill f to survive but it kills for a sport no different than the hunter so far far as an animal to feel alive it has to kill family just to feel alive just to, for that animal to feel the, like the king of the jungle or the animal that it is inside its animal pr prowess its bestiality family it has to kill family just like the serial killer no different a soldier feels the same way when he when he goes against an 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 opposing force to kill them but some soldiers take pleasure in it too some of them they do family they do take pleasure so you remember the hunter is no different the the hunter is no different than the serial killer the serial killer is no different than the animal all these different groups they love to kill and they take a pleasure in preying on the enemy torturing the enemy and killing the enemy and you think they like to kill no i don't think so family they love to kill, but they don't know. They do not know how to kill like your God. Your God loves to kill more than they do, family. Your God takes more pleasure in killing than the serial killer. Your God feels more pleasure in killing than that dang animal. Just like the animal is killing to feel alive, to feel like a beast. Your God kills people just like that animal does, family. Just like that hunter be going out there hunting people. And he be hunting. He loved to get up early in the morning time. God be doing the same thing to people, family. He loves hunting people like that hunter early up. In, God be up early in the, morning, in the morning time hunting people to kill them, family. Yo, God is like a serial killer. He be all out stalking people to kill them, family. Yo, God ain't going to feel no honor about himself unless he kills somebody like an animal, family. When, when God kills somebody... He feels like a, he's like an animal, family. He's more worse than that animal that t takes a pleasure in killing. Your God takes more pleasure in killing than anybody you have ever seen in your life, family. Let's, let's keep reading. God is a hunter and he loves to hunt people way more than these people out here in the forest. This what God does to regular people who don't who don't serve him. So God loves hunting people that turn they back on him. He loves, I'm telling you family, you think them people who be hunting, you think they take a pleasure in hunting them them deers and them bears and them elks. No, God be doing that to regular people, family, and he loves it, family. Just by him hunting your dumb self, he feels alive now. He does. For him not to kill you, he would be disrespecting himself, family. I'm going to tell you that right now. For him not to kill you for your ways, he, that would, he would take that as disrespect, family. Just that you're still alive. That's why he loves to hunt, family. He loves hunting people. God loves to kill more than the serial killer because to him, not to kill a person, he would find, find it disrespectful. And the only way he could get his honor back is to kill them. So, family, just by him not killing you, he's going to take that disrespectful that you're alive. You know what I'm saying? For him to get his honor back, he got to kill you, family. That's what he wants to do. And these people be playing with God. These people sit here acting like God is playing a game with you. I told you, your father is a hunter of people and he loves killing people. Your father is a serial killer. You think a serial killer is cold and he do things to people. No, you ain't never met God before. I see you don't know God. God is more worse than any animal that you can see. The animal loves to kill, but not more than God. God feels the same way, just like that animal, to kill its prey. He gets his glory back and he can rest. He cannot rest until he has gained his honor back. So God takes for pleasure. He takes more pleasure in destruction and mayhem. Can I stop real quick? So people think they think that they take a pleasure in, in destruction and and mayhem and misery and agony and pain. No, 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 no. You don't know God. You, you, you must don't know God. God takes more pleasure in that than you can possibly imagine. A human being couldn't fathom how much God likes to kill us. They don't. Okay, let me give you an example. When God killed all them people in the flood, Ain't that him showing you that he loves to kill people, family? Little babies, little kids. God is violent. You know what I'm saying? God, see, there you go. Listening to them, them, them preachers in the church house. They done painted this picture that God is friendly. God is not friendly, family. What did your brother tell you last this week? God can be damn near cruel. God can be cruel. He can be damn near nasty, family. He's more than that, family. I'm trying to tell you, family. Let's keep reading. Okay, now mayhem more than any any of us could could love the stock the person. Okay, 
stalk the person no different than the serial killer and he rejoices in the murder of people that's that's the only way he can feel delighted in by some people murder it's the only way he can feel delighted the only way he can really rejoice and have his respect is for him to kill these people family that's the only way he can he can be satisfied with the the sin some people do for they for their actions he treat them like the animal cuz he 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 kills people like on for for the same reason god is a true murderer cuz he takes pleasure in death he is i mean that family yo god is a true murderer he is people would say that i'm wrong for calling god a murderer but i know god you know what i'm saying and he's a murderer i'm sorry family he takes pleasure in killing people okay shouldn't he have that right he made them people and they disrespected him and they didn't want to follow what he was asking of them so doesn't he have the right to kill them doesn't he have that right? He made the heavens and the earth and everything in between. Father, he he father. God has made everything and everybody. So doesn't he have that right to dispose of these people that don't want to love and, and cherish him? Doesn't he have that right? So for that reason, I have every right to sit you sit here and tell you that your, your father is a cold blooded killer. Your father is an animal family. He's dangerous family. He's dangerous family. He's an animal. He's a cold blooded. He's worse than the serial killer family. He's worse than the serial killer. I'm telling you family. And some people be like, oh, oh, you, 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 you putting too much. You no, no. I, I'm be, to tell you the truth. I'm being light over here. I'm giving you light syrup. I need to give you the, the thick, dark syrup, family. That's what he is, family. He's a cold-blooded killer, family. You've been listening to your pastor tell you he wasn't. He all friendly and he all nice and he up here taking pleasure and killing people. Who, 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 who is these people you be listening to? You know what I'm saying? Who, 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 who you been have lied to you in your ear? Listen to your brother. Now, I know what I'm talking about. Now, check this out. And I meant every single word because God bring, he brought this revelation to me. Even though I knew it, I didn't know how serious he was about it until he let me know that he's an animal. He is, family. Your father is a dangerous animal. He is. The only thing difference between him, him and the animal is the animal get tired. God don't get tired, family. Now, let's, let's keep on going because I'm almost finished here. Animal, because he kills people like for the reason. God is a true murderer because he takes pleasure in death. It's the, the only way he can get his honor and respect. And But at, at I'm sorry. Cutting people into pieces to, to murder and, and the unjust and the unrighteous and the... The black, yeah, that's who we like. He, he like to kill, fam. He likes to kill the, the unjust and the unrighteous and the blasphemers of the of his holy name. So you can say he he all he, he I'm sorry, he's all of these rolled up in, in one. I'm telling you, family, your father is a hunter. Your father is a serial killer and your father is an animal family. He is dangerous family. He's all of those things wrapped up in one and he don't get tired family. God don't even go to sleep family. He resting, but he ain't even sleeping. He's just thinking about doing something to you, family. What he's going to do to you, family. Whoo, hallelujah. That is a whole, that is a scary thought, family. But it's the truth because that's what he is. Now, so you can say he is all of them rolled up in one because he takes pleasure in, in killing. And but know that no one takes more pleasure in killing than the most high Yah. So, yeah, your brother, I got to go ahead and get up off of here, family. Peace and blessings be upon all y'all. I'm sorry that I had to break this up in these three parts. I did not mean to do that. You got to go through it, uh, the sequence to get all the different messages. I'm sorry about that. But your brother, you know, I love y'all. You know, I don't love all y'all because, you know, your father, he don't love all y'all. Some of y'all is wicked. Some of y'all is evil and y'all never change y'all ways. And just like I told y'all about how God likes to destroy and hurt people and tear them up and he be doing all of that. That's These are the people I'm talking about. He's going to be doing all these things to it. But peace and blessings be upon all y'all. Y'all make sure y'all have a holy Sabbath. Remember, keep God on your heart. Keep God on your mind. And that little wicked that you have inside of you, you better keep a chain on that. You better keep that. You, you go ahead and put that in the, in, the, in the chest and put that lock on him because I got my evil locked away, family. Peace and blessings be upon you and Yeshua precious name for he is the Lord. Come get yourself some of this nine o'clock per hour. You and yours will be blessed. Now, as far as next week, the father is with me. He's going to give me strength and he's going to give me a whole lot of different shows, revelations, everything in Yahshua precious name to feed my brothers and sisters out there with the strength of God. Now, like I said, your brother love you. You make sure you have one for your boy. Kiss them kids. Do something fun. Kick them feet up. Get that word up inside of you. 
And you be good, family. And you be good. Peace and blessings. Be a, Oh, yeah. Make sure you come to the last night of the 9 o'clock prayer hour, family. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you come to the last hour of the 9 o'clock prayer hour. You've been good, family. You've been good. You've been doing good, sister. You've been doing good, brother. Come make sure you get this last night because tomorrow we go on break. Peace and blessings be to you all. Happy Sabbath, every all, all my brothers and sisters out there. Y'all make sure y'all have a good weekend.